Hello everyone. I am Suchishmita Mandal, weed breeder at Simit, and I will be talking about the progress that we have made in optimizing the weed breeding pipelines at Simit in the course of last two years. It has been a coordinated effort between the breeders, the quantitative geneticists, the statisticians and EIB working together. Our objective was to optimize the breeding pipelines in order to increase the rate of genetic gains in the weed breeding program. What it entails is to design and implement a breeding scheme that includes rapid recycling, selection for disease resistance, one of the important traits in weed breeding, and expanded and early testing in target environments. Working together, we came up with the scheme called the Rapid Bulk Generation Advancement Scheme, or henceforth, I will be referring to it as RBGA. Quite a data-driven approach to design and the continued optimization of this breeding scheme. Some of the key features of this breeding scheme and how it is different from our conventional shuttle breeding scheme is that it's three years to recycling of parents compared to the five years that we were that we had in our conventional shuttle breeding scheme. So by year three, we are able to conduct our stage one yield trials and we are able to recycle parents. By year four, we are able to send the stage two yield trials to the TPEs for testing. From crossing till F4, which is the first generation that goes to the field, it takes roughly around 23 months, little less than a little less than two years. And in the field, we are able to select for agronomic type, for disease resistance, for grain trades before the lines go for stage one yield testing. So this scheme work has work on this scheme has already started and in the CIMIT uh, breeding program. We have also looked at different simulations within the breeding program with respect to the schemes that we are working on. So what you see here are two graphs on the one on the left is showing the genetic gains and the one on the right shows the genetic variances. And we have looked at three schemes here. The first one is the conventional shuttle breeding scheme, which is roughly five years to recycle parents. The second one is the RBGA, wherein at, stay, at year three, you're able to recycle your parents. And an RCR is or a rapid cycle recurrent selection scheme, where in second year you're able to recycle, after year two, you're able to recycle your parents. What we are observing is that, of course, as the time reduces, your genetic gains, uh, the, the, it's faster, the gain in the rate of genetic gains is faster, which is what we observe in RPGA and RCRS. But something that's missing within the RPGA and R RCRS is this selection component which we fit into RBGA. The other important thing to notice is the genetic variances, the rate at which we lose the genetic variances. So that's something that we have to consider when we are looking at different schemes. Currently, we are uh, looking primarily at RBGA. However, at a smaller scale, we are looking also at RCRS. Within the RBGA scheme, we are looking at different optimizations again. We are looking at what proportion of parents to recycle from stage one versus stage two. What kind of selection intensity should we maintain between between crosses and within crosses or so something like the graph on the left that shows the proportion of recycling from each stage and the intensity that needs to be maintained to be able to get the maximum genetic gains that we can. The other half of it uh, on the right, the graph shows us the number of crosses that we need to maintain per pipeline or basically what is the dimension of your breeding program. So these are certain things that we are looking in and will help us to make the decisions within the breeding program and to further optimize, um, optimize the breeding schemes that we are following. Other than the simulations, we are also looking logistically how to manage the rapid cycle, rapid generation advances. Keeping this in mind, we established a field-based greenhouse at Dr. Sanjay Rajaram Experimental Station at Teluca, Mexico. This greenhouse allows us to grow three crop cycles per year and is able to support the RBGA breeding scheme. We have already completed two optimization or advancement cycle by August 2021. We started sowing here in December 2020. 
So um, the crop growth is good. You can look at the pictures. Um, we are able to complete our cycles. We are able to um, we are able to grow uh, good lines. Um, there's not we are still optimizing, but it the growth is good. We, as I mentioned, we have started implementing the RBGA scheme across all breeding pipelines. The first cycle of process uh, were conducted in August 2021. The F1s have been sown for advancement, so they will be advanced within the greenhouses till F3, and then the F4 will go into field. Expanded testing in stage one and stage two. In stage one from 2021, we have implemented a multi environment testing at our breeding site in Suedad Obregon. We follow an augmented design for yield testing of these advanced lines under irrigated drought and heat conditions. Planting is ongoing in Obregon right now. Expanded testing and stage two as well. We have implemented this yield testing in selected sites uh, in the TPEs in South Asia. This work, uh, we have um, done quite a lot of work in identifying the key sites and the, and the lines around 432 lines plus checks were sent across 20 locations in South Asia. Estimation and use of GEVV has been quite regular in the program and will continue to support the selection decisions. Selection index is something that we have worked on and uh, we hope to uh, hope that it we will we will keep on implementing it and improving it uh, for the breeding program. Looking forward, we look towards uh, further optimization of these breeding schemes for both for population improvement as well as for product development. Uh, we are working uh, on logistics for, uh, such as harvest, sowing, seed movement. Um, it's quite complicated. Seed movement gets quite complicated when you're trying to send it internationally, especially in such accelerated breeding schemes. We are also looking forward to estimating the selection efficiencies uh, for disease as well as for other traits within the RPGA scheme. And I would like to thank our donors who have supported the accelerated genetic gains uh, project and uh, allowed us to bring these changes within the summit breeding program and also to excellence in breeding for allowing us to uh, put forward uh, the changes uh, for allowing us to present the changes that we are bringing to the summit weed breeding program thank you